Welcome to the Veterinary Marketing Podcast, where it's all about helping your veterinary practice attract, engage, and retain clients. Broadcasting a new podcast every Monday from sunny Southern California, here's your host, Brandon Bashirs. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to episode number 188 and a half of the Veterinary Marketing Podcast. Today's episode is just a quick little mindset piece that's going to help you to get more out of your marketing, out of your content, and hopefully help you to just stick with it more, especially as you make New Year's resolutions, you get started with things. And then oftentimes, if you're anything like me, these New Year's resolutions kind of just fizzle out because you start to lose that motivation that you initially had there. So hopefully this is very helpful for you. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe in iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from, and be sure to join the Veterinary Marketing Nerds Facebook group. You're definitely going to want to be there if you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything. That's the best place to get help. All right, let's jump into today's episode. Today I was thinking about, because I just recently finished a, a series called The Expanse, which is on Amazon. It's fantastic. If you haven't watched it and you like sci fi stuff, it's an amazing show. And, um, it just is incredibly high quality, and I, I love it. So I'm a big sci-fi nerd. I love Star Wars, Star Trek, all things kind of nerdy. And um, I was just blown away that I had never heard about this show until very recently, maybe a couple months ago, and it's in its fourth season. And this got me thinking about a lot of other things that I love. I love Game of Thrones, for example. I only started watching that in the seventh season. And that got me to thinking most of the content that I absolutely love and consume, it is oftentimes been around for a long time before I hear about it. And the case is true with most people and most things. Content is not just just because it's amazing from the get-go means that you're going to have a huge following and you're going to build tons of um, you know, downloads or impressions or clicks. You need to take time to be consistent. And even the best things that have high production and have marketing campaigns behind them, you still don't hear about them all the time right away from just out of the gate. So it's, I think, important to think about your content in the same terms, especially with the internet. Who knows what's going to be going on in five or ten years. But if you built something that is amazing and you're consistently producing it, it is completely plausible that in five years you're going to get people that have only heard about you for the first time. So when you're creating content, think about this too. Uh, you know, Even the stuff that is the best and the, the most amazing takes time to get people to like it and enjoy it. So if you're trying to make a difference with your content or your marketing, be patient because it is going to take time. But it does build over time. So just keep at it and realize that even the best shows and the ones that have the highest production and huge budgets, those shows still take time to build audiences. And you probably have shows that you love and content that you love that you just discovered, even though it's been around for a long time. So be patient and uh, keep going. I think that's really, really important to consider and think about when you are building out your content. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, comments, or need help with anything, please let me know. I would also love to hear what you're working on. So head on over to the Facebook group, uh, the Veterinary Marketing Nerds. Let me know what you're working on. If there's anything I can do to help you or get the word out on it, I would love to help. Hope you have a wonderful week and see you on the next episode. Bye.